Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Lloyd Urban P. Salazar. Welcome in our class. And now, before we proceed, let's have a game first. Do you like games? Okay, I know you are all excited, so let's start. Our game for today is what we call Spelling Bee. So let's begin. Spell the word Enchanted. Okay, that's correct. Next, spell the word Streams. Okay, correct. Again, spell the word Lagoons. Again, spell the word Lagoons. Okay, correct. Last, spell the word landmass. Again, spell the word landmass. Okay, that's correct. Thank you for your cooperation, class. Last meeting class, I gave an activity. All you have to do is to give the name what part is this. So, let's check your papers now. So, number one. What produces water vapor from plants? So, what is the answer? That's correct. Transpiration. Number two. Is the process where liquid turns into gas? So, what is the answer? That's correct. Evaporation. Number three. Is the process by which water vapor in the air is changed into liquid water? So, what is the answer? That's correct. Condensation. Number four. It is any type of water that form in the earth atmosphere and then drop into the surface of the earth. So what is the answer? That's correct class. Precipitation. Number five. Is the flow of water that occurring on the ground surface or exists rainwater or other sources? So what is the answer? That's correct run off number six this is when water that falls from the clouds as slates rains snows collect in the oceans etc so what is the answer that's correct collection so who got perfect score all of you got perfect score good job class but before we go on to our topic, I will group you into five groups, okay? Let's do a puzzle. So what we are going to do? Inside the box, there is a picture. Each group are need to arrange or connect the puzzle pieces set. So by using glue to connect the puzzle. Did you get my point? Okay, very good class. I will give you two minutes to arrange the picture. You can start now. Time is up. Can I see? You got the pictures well. Very good class. Because you are done your activity for today, so now let's watch this video and find out the different forms of water in the Philippines. Because you are done watching the videos, I have some pictures here and you will determine what is the name of this picture is. Okay, I will give you one minute to answer your papers, so you can start now. So class, finish or not finish, pass your papers. And also, secretary, kindly collect the papers of your classmates and I will collect that one after this class. Okay? So let's proceed our topic for today. Our topic for today class is what we call the Philippine Waters. So did you know what is the definition of Philippine Waters? All of bodies of water class have different territory. Did you know what are those? So they have lakes, rivers, streams, brooks, creeks, swamps, ponds, lagoons, gulfs, bay and seas. So those are the different forms of water in the Philippines. So now let's proceed. What are the 10 forms of water here in the Philippines? So first, is the Kayangan Lake. Did you know class that Kayangan Lake is one of two lakes in Corona Island out of eight lakes? 
open to the public is a crystal clear freshwater in Coron featuring underwater rock, rock formations, cave, and slates. And it should be said to be that the freshwater is one of the cleanest lake in all of the Philippines. Number two is Hunda Bay. It's one of the Palawan's most overlooked attractions near in Puerto Princesa. And you can experience here the white sand. And did you know plus what is the top islands in Honda Bay? So we have um, Starfish Island, Cory Island, and also the Loli Island. Number three is Suhotong Lagoon. It's a place named meaning narrow opening in the Visayan languages of the Philippines. In the place of Suhotong Lagoon, you can see the crystal cave swim with the jellyfish because the water is clean. And you can really see what is below it. And that's according to my study, what is Suhotong Lagoon. Number four is Twin Lakes. It is composed of two small but deep freshwater lakes called Lake Balinsasayaw and Lake Danang. According to my observation, this place is good to relax because it is beautiful in the environment and you can really see the mountains thick with exotic plant life. Number five, the Mount and the Raitan Marcel River. This is the hiking spots in the Sari Madri mountain range. In this easy day, hike tour to Mount Raitan and Pilipak River in Rizal from Manila. Number six is Santo Nino Cold Spring. It's one of the popular tourist spots in Caribbean Island. This is a must see destination refreshing swim in its cold water should not be postponed. It is also where people go in Santo Nino Cold Spring because the place is beautiful. Number seven is Boho River. It's one of the most popular attractions in town, Alubinsan in Cebu. Based on my study, you will not only find fun here because you will also see how beautiful the environments here. Number eight is Lake Balanan. Is a lake in Siaton, Negros Oriental, in the Philippines. Did you know, plus, that Lake Balanan it is a freshwater lake in the forested mountain. This is a beautiful place with so the sweetness of the breeze because there is a mountain around it. Number nine is the Muga Cold Springs. It's a group of springs located in Iligan City. And we all know that when we say cold springs, this is a perfect place where you can relax and also you can bring your family or friends there in Timoga Cold Springs. Number 10 is the Casalarin Cove. It's a secret beach cove owned by Anganas in Baler. And did you know plus that this is the most famous beach cove? located in the Casalarin Cove. So those are the 10 forms of water in the Philippines. Because we are done our topic for today, can you give me at least 5 forms of water in the Philippines that I explained today? Anyone from the class? What are those? First is, yes that's correct, Kayangan Lake. Anyone? Yes that's correct. Bunda Bay. Okay, number three. Anyone from the class? Okay, that's correct. Suhotong Lagoon. Number four. Anyone? Okay, that's correct. Twin Lakes. Last, and the last part is, anyone from the class? Okay, that's correct. The Mount and the Raitan Marcel River. So, well done. So that is our topic for today, class. So good day, my dear pupils! Are you okay? Yes, you are okay. Uh, I know that my partner Lloyd Orvin Salazar, who was already talking about the Philippine waters. You already know what is the Philippine waters, what is the use of waters into our life, and 
what is the Philippine Waters all about? So because you already know that at this juncture, I want you to get your papers, your writing materials, and let's answer this question. Why Philippine Waters is important into our life? Ano importante man ang tubig sa atong kinabuhi? So I will give you 5 minutes to answer that question. You may start now. So are you all done? Yes, it seems that you are already done because there is a few pupils or, or gossip things. Ms. Secretary, can you collect the papers? Then I will get that later. So class, why Philippine waters is important into our life? Nga naman to, nga importante man ang tubig sa atong kinabuhi. Ha? Yes, Miss Del Valle. Yes, to avoid being dehydrated. Di ba? Mo inom dahil ang tubig o guhaon ta. Anyone? Who else? Hmm? Mr. Nurili. Yes, we use water to wash, drink, and watering our plantation. Anything? Anyone? So, Ms. Izai Bailon asked, What is the most important? The water or the food? My dear pupils, Ano nga bang mas mahalaga? Ang tubig o ang pagkain? Huh. Food. Food. Waters. Food. Waters. So, actually, class, the most important is the water is there is a living organism that can live without food but cannot live without water and we need water for circulation of our blood and distributing nutrients into our body that's why water is the most important or very important into our life so it is because you don't have any question we will proceed to our next activity can you get your writing materials I will show you a picture, then you will write your answer into your papers. So, the first first picture is... Number two. Number three. Number four. And last... Number five. Okay? Did you get that? Okay, let's proceed to our next activity. Let's evaluate if you understand the topic that we tackled already. So it is a multiple choice. I will give you five minutes to answer these questions. You may start now. Kindly pass your papers. Thank you. So, now, kindly get your assignment notebook and copy this one. Okay, are you, are you done? So, that's all for today. See you tomorrow, class. Goodbye.